Um, you definitely have some energy circling back in and you have a fluctuation in your emotional state. And I feel like the Venus retrograde might have affected you more than the upcoming Mercury retrograde will affect you. So we're just going to talk about um, the, the spread here. Um, when I was shuffling this spread, I felt like this, uh, it's like a lotus flower. It's spinning, right? It, it's sort of like that chakra, the spinning chakra. It opens and then it closes and then it opens and it closes. And what I feel though is um, in your emotional state, there is something that you're going through where one moment you're open you're very open with your feelings with another person and then the next minute you're kind of closed off so i see you oscillating back and forth between wanting to share with another person wanting to open up to another person and then they might say or act or behave a certain way and then that causes you to retreat okay and um i feel like some of you are dealing with an air sign so i have here an aquarius a gemini or a libra this is a person that really has very strong, deep feelings for you. But for whatever reason, in your interaction with them, I feel like there has been a lot of conflict. And the center of the spread, we have here the Five of Wands. This is two people not able to reach a compromise, not able to see eye to eye, not able to understand things from one another's perspective. And it can boil down to just the sheer fact that you're not very compatible with the other person. Um, I feel like there might be situations where, um, you know, you, you joke around and then things kind of get blown out of proportion. Or you might inadvertently think it's a joke, but then the other person gets hurt and then they might say something like a, a smart comeback. And that can create this emotional rift between the two of you where it starts out as a joke and then it, it gets out of control. It gets um, things get lost and the emotions get riled up. And I feel like there has been definitely miscommunication. Um, I feel like this person really likes you. They are shy innately um, on the inside. They're very, very shy. They put on a little bit of a tough front. And this is someone who's very analytical, who's very, like, very much in their head. And I feel, I feel like they might be emotionally stunted and they don't really know how to express themselves. And I feel like they have tried to reach out to you a few times in the past. And I feel like you were protected of your feelings. You were a little bit emotionally closed off. And so they, you know, they, they retreat. And then when they retreat, you feel a little bit isolated and a little bit hurt. So I definitely see some mirroring effect. You take one step back, they take one step back. And then when you step forward and you're just like, where have you been? Then they you know, step forward and they try to bridge that emotional um, gap between the two of you. So there's this constant back and forth motion. Um, I feel like they're making some big plans in their lives. Um, it, it feels to me like they're, they're implementing some major, major changes in their lives. This could be a physical move or this can be, you know, changing the way that they interact with other people because they are starting to see that um, with them not being able to emotionally open up, it's creating problems for them. And I feel like they're trying to uh, work on self-improvement. They're trying to, they're trying to be less combative. They're trying to be less defensive and they're trying to let their guard down as well. Um, I see for some of you, this might have been like um, a person that you're dealing with, like for on the periphery. And even if you have feelings for them, I feel like the feelings are, de they, they definitely have really strong feelings for you. They care about you at the very least. They really care about you. They care about what you think about them. They care about your input. They care about your, uh, they care about your well-being. Okay. And um, I'm also sensing as well, um, there's a lot of family energies here. Um, family meetups get together. I see you behaving a little bit more like a wallflower. So yes, you do have, you know, feelings and emotions for the people that, that are around you because, you know, of course they're family. You want what's best for them. 
But I see this element about you not feeling that connection anymore. So you might have outgrown some of these people. You might have... Um, it seems like you're a wallflower, not so much by choice, but by the sheer fact that you don't want to participate in the things that they're participating in. You don't want to have um, be involved in the conversations that they're having because you feel like it doesn't really contribute to the bigger picture and you feel this emotional disconnect from, from dealing with them. So I see some of you with family members, you let them talk, you ask follow-up questions, but in terms of your emotional investment, I feel like you're not really invested in that conversation or, or you're not really understanding so much where these people are coming from. So I, I just feel like you are growing, you are ascending, and the things that really matter to you in the past, they don't matter anymore right now. Um, I see that for the past four months, things have been uh, a little bit challenging. There were plans that you wanted to get off the ground, but they had uh, there had been a lot of delays. There were things that you wanted to move forward with in your life, and you're figuring out that you have to, you know, go back and revisit these issues and, you know, smooth things out before you can take off. And I'm also sensing um, kind of you beating yourself up over things that you should have planned out better, things that should have, you know, gone a certain way. And you're, you're not, you know, soaking in self-pity or anything like that because you're taking a more proactive approach to make sure that things are done perfectly uh, well and, and smoothly the next time. So it's like learning from our past mistakes. And admitting to ourselves that sometimes, you know, some things require more planning and more um, foresight than we anticipated. And so you're definitely, it's like lesson learned. Okay, next year I'm going to do things differently. So as we round out this year, I definitely feel like there's a lot of growth. There's a lot of um, um, spiritual awareness and self-awareness and insights that have um, that you've come to terms with you've already rectified them within yourself and I also feel like this was a year it, it's challenging right Saturn's in your sign it, it has been very cha challenging it has forced a lot of responsibilities on you and it has forced you to realize honestly how strong you are and so moving into this phase, you know, the month of November and then rounding out the year, I just feel like whenever Saturn delivers a major growth spurt in our lives, it makes us feel the sense of disconnect. Like the things that matter in the past don't really matter anymore. We start to see the big picture. We start to see what is important and who's important. I feel for some of you, there are there there is a, a sense of protection, protectiveness coming in. And this protectiveness is sort of like, these are the things and the people that matter to me. I'm going to protect them. I'm going to make sure that they are safe. I'm going to make sure nothing bad happens to them. And I feel like for some of you, this can be children, your children, other people's children. For others of you, this is like your, um, it's like self-preservation, um, putting this, you know, um, spiritual or emotional barrier between you and other people because you're realizing they might not have been good for you. You're still there. You're still across that fence if they need you and you can talk over the fence at them, you know, but in terms of like physically being there, I feel like you're protecting your energy. You're protecting your resources. Um, you might have dealt with people that have a lot of um, um, boundary issues. They ask inappropriate questions or they pry a little bit too much and they want to know uh, too much about your personal life. And now you're definitely at a point where you are kind of holding back um, just for your own protection. Um, I'm also feeling like there is a love situation in general and you don't know what to do about it. Okay. It, it's almost like, I see some of you are, you know, single and then you're revisiting a love situation. You're, you're getting messages, you're getting information, you're getting kind of like somebody's opening up to you 
And so you might transition from being single to being in a relationship or being single to being, it's complicated, okay? So you're testing the waters with another person. And I feel like you're trying to see, um, should I give this another chance? Should I give this another go? Should I um, invest more time in this? Okay, and I feel like in particular, um, I have here an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. And I also feel like, you know, finances and everything like that, you guys are very practical. So I, I definitely feel um, finances, it's stable. It's very steady. And you're very resourceful. You can do with less. So I don't see, you know, money and finances and work being a major problem for you guys. I feel like the, the spread is very relationship-oriented. Relationship with, with um, co co-workers, colleagues. Those might have been a little bit tenuous, but you're at a point where you're holding yourself back. You're not giving them too much of your energy. And then with family members, it's sort of like being a wallflower, looking in, looking at what people are doing, checking up on them, but at the same time, preserving your sanity by not getting too emotionally invested in them. Um, I see a lot of, uh, I, I see energy of family and children in particular. And I also feel as well, um, just uh, be patient when you're dealing, for those in relationships, be patient when you're dealing with another person. Um, I feel like somebody is coming through and they're stressed out. And um, they might be a little bit grouchy, a little bit snippy. And they might have to wake up really early to go to work and they might not get enough sleep. And so they, they're not operating at their best, okay? And this is somebody that you love. So be patient when you're dealing with that. Um, I see an earth sign as well, a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn that you might also be in a relationship with. And this is somebody who is thinking about self-employment, who's trying to uh, reach their pinnacle of success, okay? Professional achievements, uh, career success, and things like that. And what I'm seeing is um, there's a lot of love here. There's definitely a lot of stability, a lot of love. And I also feel like there's a lot of mutual support coming through between you and this person. But I feel like until they can reach that pinnacle of success, until they figure out direction-wise what they want to do, where they want to be, um, you might feel a little bit like put on the back burner by this person. Uh, you might feel like their actions or their plans might uproot, you know, the relationship. And you might feel like you're shouldering the burdens of the relationship. And you feel like you're kind of put on the back burner. It, it's almost like my career comes first, my, um, you know, my professional achievements come first, and then we'll talk about love later. It's sort of like that. Um, not that they're brushing you off, but I definitely feel like they're plagued with a lot of concerns when it comes to their uh, achievements. And so they're trying to sort out that area in their lives. And at the same time, you just feel like that's where their entire focus is. And it just it feels like, where is where do I fit in all of this? Where is there, you know, is there even space for me? So I, I definitely see that situation where you're waiting for them to kind of sort things out so that you know where you stand with them. So that can even be an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra, or an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You have an outpouring of love here. Um, for some of you who are self-employed, for some of you who are self-employed, um, I feel this situation where you're putting in a lot of hours. You're nurturing and, and, and growing something from the ground up. And you have been very attentive and, and just incredibly hardworking. It, it's like that, uh, that, that self-employment gig. If it's a business, for example, if it's a project, if it's a business, it's like your love child. You pour a lot of attention, a lot of love, a lot of dedication into it. And I, I, I feel like it's no longer serving its purpose in your life. It, it, it pays the bills, finances, looks good. But there might be a point where some of you might experience like, I, I want to do something else. I, I want to change of scenery. I've been doing this for so long and 
I'm not, you know, invested in it anymore. So I want to change. And then for others of you, you are at a point where you're starting to see your revenue dwindle a little bit. And that is, it, it's, it's starting to make you feel a little bit nervous. Okay. Um, if we're not in love with something, if we feel like we have already learned everything that we need to learn about a specific situation or a specific job, a specific self-employment thing, um, I usually think that it's a sign from the universe to move on to something else where we can learn more, create something new, and have that sense of um, wonder and have that sense of newness. Okay, so I, I definitely feel like you have some big things that you're re-examining. You have some big things that you are contemplating for this week. So it's... um. It's a good week overall, lots of people around you, and I, I feel like, you know, you're not going to be alone for too long. Um, I see you still on the outskirts looking in, kind of like that wallflower. I see you focus on a person and, and observing them, observing their temperament, observing their actions, observing the things that they do, kind of like looking over their shoulders to see how their mind works and to see how that translates into the work that they do, which is, I, I feel like, fascinating to you. Because um, you might have trouble understanding this person, but when you see the way that they work, how diligent they are and how intelligent they are, um, I feel like it revives, you know, feelings of love and admiration and care that you have towards this person. So I hope the reading is helpful for you Capricorns. Um, I do wish you all the best.